Hey everyone, this is Tim, and today I'm going to be going over one of YouTube and the internet's most favorite ETFs. It's SPHD. It's a monthly paying dividend. It is the Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility Portfolio ETF. And I'm going to be going over all the specifics of this ETF, uh, their holdings, everything, uh, their dividend yield. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe down below. It greatly helps out the channel and hope you have a great day. So to start out with, the fund profile for SPHD is the Invesco Exchange Traded Fund Trust 2. It is an exchange traded fund launched and managed by Invesco Capital Management LLC. It invests in public equity markets of the United States. And the fund invests in stocks of companies operating across diversified sectors. The fund invests in volatile stocks of large cap companies, and the fund invests in dividend paying stocks of companies. The fund seeks to track the performance of the S&P 500 Low Volatility High Dividend Index by using full replication technique, and the Invesco Exchange Traded Fund Trust was formed on October 18, 2012 and is domiciled in the United States. SPHD has an expense ratio of 0.30%, which is a very good low expense ratio so basically means for every hundred dollars they're going to be taking 30 cents as an expense they do pay out monthly on their dividends and they currently have a dividend yield of 4.41 percent as for their performance for the last five years they are up 15.63 percent over the last year, they are down 10.72%, but considering everything that's happened so far in 2020, I'm not really surprised by that. For a year to date, they're down 12.97%. For the last six months, they are actually up 8.13%. Over the last month, they're up 15.14%. Over the last five days, 2.71%. And just over the last day on Friday, they were up 1.62%. I am going to be going over the holdings of SPHD, but I'm not going to be using Seeking Alpha to do that as there is some discrepancy between it and Invesco's own sheet. So for the time being, I'm going to go by Invesco's own sheet as to the holdings, and I'll be going over that at the end. But they have an annual payout of $1.69 per share. They have a five-year growth rate of 10.97%, but they do not have any years of dividend growth so far right now, mostly because they had to cut it due to the pandemic. So they pay 14 cents per share, almost 15 cents per share, and like I said, they do pay monthly. Here on Yahoo Finance, you can see that they have a fairly diversified holdings in their ETF. Uh, it is more heavily towards utilities, real estate, and communication services and technology. Their price to earnings ratio is 17.64 and their price to book ratio is 1.66. And on this graph here, you can see it is comparing the SPHD to the S&P 500 along with the fund NAV and fund market price. As you can see, since inception, basically, it hasn't done nearly as well as the S&P 500. This is the Invesco page showing the holdings for SPHD, all 50 of them. They were updated as of 12-4-2020. They do differ from Seeking Alpha, Yahoo, and every other investment site I could find. So since this is an Invesco exchange traded fund, I'm going to go by their information. So in utilities, they have 16.65% of the ETF. In that, they have PPL or the PPL Corporation at 2,249,670 shares. And that makes it 2.47% of the ETF. Then SO or Southern Company, they have 793,845 or 1.87%. For Duke Energy, they have 516,065, or 1.81%. For Edison International, they have 742,023, for 1.76%. 
they have for the Exelon Corporation, 980,862 or 1.54%. For Dominion Energy, they have 513,960 shares at 1.5%. For Pinnacle West Capital Corporation, they have 467,118 at 1.48%. For Consolidated Edison Incorporated, they have 500,003 at 1.45%. For Entergy Corporation, they have 346,933 at 1.42%. And for First Energy Corporation, they have 1,216,452 shares at 1.35%. And that makes up the utilities. The next biggest one is real estate. Uh, these are all in REITs or Real Estate Investment Trusts. The biggest one is in Iron Mountain at 2,609,452 shares at 2.92%. They have Vornado Realty Trust at 1,782,144 at 2.85%. Regency Centers Corporation at 1,162,203 at 2.19%. Federal Realty Investment Trust at 609,833 at 2.18%. Health Peak Properties Incorporated at 1,848,089 at 2.17%. And Realty Income Corporation at 729,242 at 1.71%. The next biggest one is Information Technology at 13.6% total of the ETF. That makes up from Seagate Technology at 1,001,792 shares at 2.46%. Then Hewlett Packard Enterprise Company at 4,558,473 shares at 2.16%. Then NetApp Incorporated at 904,598 at 2.08%. Then the International Business Machines Corp, or IBM, at 385,793 at 1.88%. Then HP, at 2,039,210 at 1.86%. Broadcom Incorporated at 116,025 at 1.83%. And Western Union at 1,580,067 at 1.32%. Then for materials, this makes up 12.88% of the ETF. And so this one's going to be Dow Inc. is going to be 1,455,879 shares at 3.08%. International Paper Company at 1,438,749 at 2.70%. CF Industries Holdings at 1,259,327 at 1.91%. New Core Corporation at 818,082 at 1.77%. Eastman Chemical Company at 439,945 at 1.73%. And Amcor PLC at 3,813,111 shares at 1.69%. For communication services, for CenturyLink, they have 7,044,699 shares at 2.86%. Enter Public Group is 2,780,187 at 2.56%. AT&T, they have 2,081,048 shares at 2.36%. Omnicom Group, they have 760,307 shares at 1.9%. And Verizon, they have 705,228 shares at 1.67. For consumer staples, which makes up 8.45% of the ETF, they have the Altria Group at 1,698,455 at 2.7%. Philip Morris International at 784,938 at 2.43%. Kraft Heinz at 1,306,470 at 1.71%. Walgreens Boots Alliance at 962,340 at 
And then for energy, which makes up 7.01% of the ETF, they have ExxonMobil at 1,618,058 shares at 2.59%. Kinder Morgan at 4,229,667 shares at 2.42%. Then Chevron Corporation at 556,908 at 1.99% for financials, which make up 5.5%. They have Huntington Bank shares at 6,246,831 shares at 3.14%. And People's United Financials Inc. at 4,634,205 at 2.35%. For healthcare, they have 4.73% of the ETF, and that makes from AbbVie. 426,250 shares at 1.76%. Pfizer at 1,085,269 at 1.68%. Cardinal Health Incorporated at 590,772 shares at 1.29%. For consumer discretionary, they have Newell Brands at 3,052,356 shares at 2.58%. At Haynes Brands, they have 3,435,331 shares at 1.86%. And then for industrials, they have 3M at 210,789 shares at 1.40%. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, SPHD is a very good monthly paying dividend ETF. It is definitely one that I own shares of, but it is not going to be the main ETF I'm going to be investing in. Right now, the first and main one I'm going to be investing in until I get to at least 100 shares is going to be PEY. Thank you and hope you have a great day.